Welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I got a great recipe that I want to share with you for an Italian style meatball that I'm going to put in a marinara sauce and we're going to make some meatball sliders with. Now this is great for tailgating or for parties and it's really a great recipe that you can do a lot of it ahead of time and put it together and then take it to an event with you warm it up on the grill. Of course I'm going to put those meatballs out on the smoker to get them cooked through. Then I'm going to get them in that marinara sauce and get them in a pan back out on the smoker for a second dose. Then we'll show you how we're going to put those meatball subs together. So let's talk about what we're going to use today for these Italian style meatballs. Now I've got some great Italian uh, sausage that's made by Compart Duroc Farms. And I've also got some 80-20 ground beef that I'm going to mix together. We're going to use some binders to hold these meatballs together. Some breadcrumbs, a couple fresh eggs, and some Italian seasoning, some Parmesan cheese. It's a very simple recipe for meatballs. And when you put them out on that smoker and let them brown up, they're going to be really great. We're going to get some gloves on. We're going to start assembling the meatballs. And we'll show you how we put all this together. Okay, I've got one pound of ground beef and one pound of that Compart Duroc Italian sausage in my bowl. Now we're just going to add our binders to this because I'm going to start with those two eggs, the breadcrumbs. i got about a cup of breadcrumbs here and then some grated parm cheese. It's about a half a cup of grated parm cheese. And I'm just going to start getting this incorporated. And you want to wear some gloves when you're doing this. It gets a little messy. If you do it by hand, just keep your hands moist so the, the meat doesn't stick to you, but you want to just really get everything worked in. So I've got the, the egg and the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese incorporated good enough. It's time to add the seasonings that I'm going to use now. now the Compart pork Italian sausage already has some seasonings in it, but I just like to add a little bit extra. I want a little bit of heat for some crushed red pepper using some granulated garlic and just an Italian herb blend that you can find at your grocery store. I'm just going to start working this in, kind of like kneading bread, just kind of work it. You want to get the seasonings worked all the way through. All right, so we've got the seasons incorporated into our meatball mix now. Now we're going to roll them out. And what I do is I just pinch off some in my hand. You want it just, you know, a little bit smaller than a golf ball because we are going to use these for slider rolls. And then basically you don't want to put too much pressure, just roll it around in your gloved hands. And it makes a good sized meatball. You don't want to have to you know, compact it too much. Just form it in the shape of a ball. Now, since we're cooking these out on the smoker, I'm going to put these on one of my pork racks that I sprayed with cooking spray so they don't stick. And I'm just going to roll a few out here, line that rack, and then we'll get them out on the cooker in just a few minutes. All right, I've got all the meatballs rolled out and on my rack. Now they're ready to go to the cooker, but let's talk about how we're going to do these on the smoker. Now I know everybody's cooked meatballs inside in your oven and we're kind of doing the same thing. We're just going to lower the temps down some where we can get some smoke on them and add some additional flavor to these. So I'm going to get, go outside and get my old hickory pit fired up today. I'm going to run it about 275 degrees. Um, then we're going to add some wood to it. I'm going to use a little bit of hickory and a little bit of cherry just to give it a different note there at the wood smoke. And it's only going to take, you know, 45 minutes for these meatballs. It's not going to take long because we're going to put them in that marinara sauce and put them back out there. We're going to make sure we hit 165 internal in these meatballs before we serve them. Um, you can use any kind of smoker you want to do these as long as you can hold that temp. It works well, you know, 250 to 275. Even if it goes up to 300, it's okay. Just adjust your time that they cook according to the temperature you're cooking at. You want to make sure you cook any ground meat product to about 165 internal just to be safe. I'm going to go outside, get the cooker fired up. We'll come back and we'll show you putting these meatballs on. It's not going to be long now. See you in just a minute. All right, so I've got the old hickory ace fired up here. Running about, running right almost 275 degrees. You can see I got a little bit of pecan wood and a piece of cherry wood in there too driving some smoke through it. That's going to be perfect for these Italian style meatballs. I'm just going to get it closed up and we're going to watch them. You know, it's probably going to take maybe 45 minutes to an hour for these meatballs to get to the temperature I want. But we're still going to cook them in that marinara sauce for a little while to make sure that we, you know, we get all those flavors incorporated in it so they don't have to be fully cooked. That's why I'm going to take them 45 minutes to an hour, see where they're at. If they're ready, we're going to take them off, put them in our marinara sauce that we're going to make up, get them back out on the smoker to finish. Stick around. All right, our meatballs have been cooking for about 45 minutes, and that's right at where I want them. I just want to temp a few of these so I can kind of see where they're at. We're seeing 170, 
So we're gonna take these inside. We're not done cooking. They've smoked. Now we're gonna make them real happy. Get them in some marinara sauce. Put them back out here. Warm that sauce up with the meatballs in there. It's not gonna take a long time. You know, just another half hour or so. And then they're gonna be ready to make those sliders I was telling you about. So let's get these meatballs off the grill. Get them inside. Get them in that marinara sauce. All right, our smoked Italian meatballs are ready for the sauce. What I'm gonna use um, I'm just gonna get a small pan here and get the meatballs in the pan. Then we're gonna smother them in this marinara sauce. You know, you can make the marinara sauce a day ahead of time if you want. Put it in the refrigerator, let it sit out and come up to room temp before you get ready to put it on the warm meatballs. But you just wanna get them covered. Now for this step, you know, if you wanna, if you got a favorite recipe for a sauce that you like to use, that's fine. If you wanna just use a store-bought sauce, that's fine too, but this sauce is simple, it's delicious, and it's gonna go great on these little mini meatball subs that we're gonna make here in just a few minutes. We gotta get this pan back out on the smoker. I'm gonna leave it uncovered for about 15, 20 minutes. Let it get just a little bit more smoke on it. Then we're gonna cover it up, really steam it good, warm that marinara through with those meatballs, let those flavors develop in there. Needs about 30 to 45 minutes more cooking, and that's it. Then we're gonna be ready to make those little mini subs. I'll show you how we do it in just a few minutes. Right, it's time to cover these meatballs up. They've been smoking about 15 minutes there. Now I just want them to get real, real happy. And some good heat. We're still running this old hickory about 275, so. All right, so we've got the meatballs finally off the smoker. Um, they, they cooked, the, I let them go about 45 minutes out there, just so that marinara sauce is really piping hot and it was bubbling real good when I brought it in. The meatballs are coated in it and they're gonna be really good. I wanted to show you how we assemble these sandwiches. But first, let's talk about you know, what we did. We took a pound of Italian sausage, a Compart Duroc sausage, and one pound of ground beef. We mixed it with some breadcrumbs, some eggs, a little Parmesan cheese for a binder. And then we, then we reinforced those seasonings with that Italian seasoning, a little granulated garlic, and then some crushed red pepper flakes. We got all that worked in, we rolled them out into meatballs, and then we smoked them out on the old hickory for about 45 minutes until we got to about 160, 165 internal. That was right where you wanted to get them off and then get them in the marinara. We used a basic marinara sauce or you can use a store-bought one if you'd like. It was real easy. We just uh, made the marinara sauce ahead of time and then when the big balls were off the smoker, poured it over them. Then we put them back out on the pit for about 15 minutes and covered them up with foil and let them get real steamy and hot. So now it's time to make these mini meatball sandwiches that I've been telling you about. And I just bought some rolls at the store. These are just little mini sub rolls. And I, got, and I went to the deli, had them slice me some provolone cheese real thin. It's like a 0.5 on their meat slicer. I'm gonna put a couple slices of that provolone in here. Then you wanna stuff it with some meatballs. And I like that thin cheese so the meatballs really melt it. We'll put an extra one there. You can get about four in there. A little extra marinara sauce. And last but not least, we're gonna to top it with a little bit more of that Parmesan cheese. And I'll go ahead and knock out another one here on here. So we're giving a little provolone. Now we're ready for the meatballs. Man, they smell good. A little bit of extra marinara sauce. Really get them down on that bread and get that cheese melted. Then top it off with just a little bit extra grated parm. Man, those look good. There you have it. All right, now you know I got to try these. So I'm gonna use a knife here and just cut off into it because I know it is smoking hot. That's way too big a bite. Let's go for it. Wow, really, those meatballs picked up the smoke good from that uh, pecan, a little bit of that cherry wood. You can really taste it in it. That's really great meatball sub. Hey, that's what I call some smoked Italian meatballs there. If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. Give these recipes a shot, man. I promise you're going to love them at home. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.